G'day, welcome to another episode of Art Studio. I'm your host, Wayne Clements, for the next half hour. So look, we're gonna get straight into it here. We've got our palette already uh, mixed with our colors, so we'll just go around the board here. Got our titanium white. We've got some yellow ochre, that's it straight out of the tube. We've also got it tinted here. So a little bit of white in there, a little bit of Aleutian violet that I've mixed up there as well, a little bit of white in that. I've got some oranges. This one's straight out of the tube. Now, I'm always saying that they should mix your own oranges, but some of these colours with the W.O.R. is absolutely beautiful, so I can just leave that one alone. I've got a little bit of red here that's going to go into the painting as well. Got some beautiful darks, some burnt umber, and I've got some uh, Payne's Grey or a black that I've mixed up, and then I've tinted it, and I've actually put a little bit of that Volution Violet in there too, just to give that little bit of violet in our colour in the sky in this painting. We're going to go a little seascape, a little boat in here, and the sun, it's all happening. Bit of cloud. Lots of things that you can pick up tips from on this one. So well, let's get straight into it. We've got a little bit of white on our palette. It's gonna go straight into our colors and we're gonna go straight into our sun actually. So we'll do that first. I'll pick up a little brush and I'm just going to put in right about here somewhere. So we're looking around about a third of the way up that line. We're having our sun. Put a little bit of color in there just around the bottom of it this time just to give it, so it's not just all orange, all yellow, sorry, just a little bit of colour down the base of it as well. Just a little bit of a blend there with that fan. We don't want to look that more like it. Okay, so we're just going to put our little stencil over the top here. I'm just using a coin and we're going to go straight into one of our brushes, pick up a little bit of oil on there just to make it flow a little bit easier. So, okay, here we go. We're going to put in a little bit of this orange first just around our moon our sun sorry so we got a little bit of orange down here and there's some beautiful dark colors contrast in the sky in this painting so it should look really nice nice beautiful nice split complementaries just off the complementary side of your color wheel if you're following that which is always a great idea always follow your color wheels big help when you're designing your own paintings so I'll just take that off there for the moment and we'll just continue on just putting in a bit of an orange sky here. We can pick a little bit of red up later and just deepen it too, just make it a little bit brighter. So you've got that bit of red down on the horizon line so we can get that orange in first. Just blending beautifully. These are the W oils of course, the water soluble, nice and safe around the home. All washes out in water. Beautiful oil paint, it's got the fantastic advantage of washing out in water so that's a great thing. Here we go, a little bit of yellow ochre up the top of the painting this time and we're going to come down and blend that into that orange. So we'll get it up the top there first and come down into the orange. Crisscross action is going to help us blend those colours together. So get that brush in that flow, crisscross just to blend the colours right into that canvas there. That's it, we've just about got it covered now. Now just blend it so you get it even transition the colour from the lower down on the horizon up into the top of the sky. There we go, that's looking pretty good. I might even pick up a little bit of red here and just highlight this around the sun here. Just deepen it a little. That's it. And now we're going to pick up the same brush, haven't even cleaned it, and we're going to go straight into this beautiful dark we've mixed up here. So it looks like a big storm coming. Probably not something you'd think of doing, but this is actually taken from a photo, so this is actually how it is. Wouldn't think to put these colours in here probably, but we're going to go right across the bottom here, darken it up, and also I'm going to go across that moon as well, the sun, sorry, keep getting it confused with the moon. Very same thing, they're both round. Here we go, put that back there now, I'll just clean that. Actually, I'm not even going to do that. I'll put that aside. Change of plan. We can actually just blend those colours in here, coming across the bottom, and I'm going to take a little bit of that dark right across in front of the sun. There we go. Just a fan brush, I find, is a great way to do this. It's nice and gentle, and if you're worried about it, don't come right through because you'll push the colour of the sun out the other side. So take it back through that way. So it just looks like it's going across, that bit of cloud's going across the sun there. 
and that's just about all we need. Take it right through if you like. Nice little bit of blending happening there. And I'm just going to get a nice soft blending brush and see if we can blend that in. Very soft one, this one. So we're just going to soften those colours in the sky there. Push it back into the colour in the background. Okay, so we can actually bring that up there now and fade that out into that orange as we come up into the sky. And just blend those colours right in there. Nice little blend, blending brush, this one. Don't forget, you can get all the brushes in our kits that are available online. You can check it out, wayneclemens.com.au. So our kits are all available. Got all the brushes and knives, etc., that you're going to need. And we're going to put in a nice dark here now for like our... Picked up a little bit of that, plus I've darkened it a little. So shaded it. I'm going to pick up that bit of mainland or island or whatever it is in the background doesn't matter just as long as it stands out against that dark sky so we're going to make it a little bit darker doesn't matter here we go just blending that in nicely run it right along twist and roll your brush and you can even come up and down here and there just to make it look a little interesting don't have to do too much we just want to break it up a little so it looks like something back there a bit of land happening Gives us our depth. So we've got our distance, and we're going to coming forward doing the middle distance. And we're going to pick up our brush that we used to put the white on, pick up a little bit of our yellow ochre here. And we're just about up to our first break, so it's great timing to get into the water. We've got our sky pretty well done. And just run that brush right along the bottom there. We're not worried about it. You don't want a dead straight line or anything. And we're just going to pick up a little bit of this orange now as well. So get that in there. We'll just about have this covered before we go to our first break. We can concentrate in our boat for the next two segments. So let's get that colour in there. A bit of red as well. Just spread that out right across the canvas. Just coming up to our first break. If you're following us, it's looking good so far. So we're going to come back very shortly continue finishing our water and we're going to get into our little boat as well. So we'll see you then. Mm -hmm. 